Good morning and welcome to this summer reset. I am starting off the morning by doing a little bit of skincare. I have just popped on the Good Jeans Glycolic Acid Treatment by Sunday Riley, which I'm really enjoying so far. I'm just going to pop some under eye cream on as well. And as my final step, I am just going to pop some Carnex on my lips. Now that breakfast has been had, let's do some makeup. I always feel so much more productive when I do my makeup, which is definitely a psychological thing and most likely not backed up by science, but I just feel more productive and more motivated to work, so let's get some makeup on. In the summer, I tend to cut out foundation and just stick to concealer. And I also use a lot more sort of cream-based products. Now, I wanted to introduce you to a brand who does cream makeup products beautifully. And it is Merit. They very recently sent me a little gift package. This isn't sponsored by them, but I do really like their products. And I wanted to show you how I use them and how beautiful the consistency is. Merit is a minimalist beauty brand aiming to provide well-edited essentials for your day-to-day -day skin needs. All their products are formulated with ingredients that will not clog your pores and are safe for your body, skin and the planet. They also include one of these gorgeous makeup bags with every order and also offer free shipping on all orders over $40. If you wanted to check the Merit products out, I will link them down below for you in the description so you can shop for yourself. But I definitely recommend, like I am so in love with how they transform my skin, how dewy they are and how easy to blend they are as well. Now I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and we can get on with our day. The first thing I would like to start off with in this summer reset is to set some new goals and create a new little vision board, which I love doing so much. It gives me so much happiness, so I'm very excited to incorporate it into today's reset. But before we delve straight into that, I did want to sort of clear my mind, and the way I thought to do that is to go for a walk, get some fresh air, maybe even sit in the park, and then we can come back here and start goal planning and prepping for the rest of the year. Let's set some goals. 
Notion is my favorite place for goal planning. I like how you can incorporate images and get creative with your ideas on there. I also use Pinterest and create different boards as inspirations for the season or specific events. If you're interested in my Pinterest board, I will link it down below in the description so you can have a browse for yourself. And my last website I like to use is Canva. I mainly use Canva to build my vision boards. Just like that, my goals and vision board has been created. I wasn't sure whether I was going to create my goals for the rest of the year or whether I was going to sort of make them just for the summer. But because I have goals that have sort of, I've created for the whole year already, I thought I would actually do a four month goal plan. And that is because in four months yesterday, I turned 24. And this is going to sound so silly, but I've always had this feeling that something massive will happen when I'm 24. I don't know what it is. I, it's definitely a positive thing. And it could be something that I've sort of manifested into existence because I have honestly felt this since I was probably like seven or eight. Like I have felt something massive will happen when I'm 24. No idea what it is, but I'm very excited um, for turning 24. But up until then, I do want to achieve quite a few big milestones so that when I turn 24, I can just be like, I don't know, my life could just be in a better place, I guess. But let me read out a few of the goals that I set. So my biggest goal, I would say, is to move out. I have been living in this amazing property for the past five years, but for me, I get really, really inspired by change and change of scenery and change of environment. And I just think it's sort of time for both me and my boyfriend, because we live together, to sort of take a new step in a new direction and i do think moving out is such like a big priority for both of us at the moment i mentioned this in my last video but ever since i went away to america i experienced how other people live their day-to-day -day life and it really inspired me to sort of level up upgrade how i live how i go about my day-to-day -day, and just sort of romanticize my life a little bit more so that is one of my other goals basically live my life to the next level and the last big goal that i set for myself is only say yes to things that align with your goals now this has not always been a thing for me i tend to be a type of person that just says yes to everything because they don't want to miss an opportunity but to be honest as of recently i've decided that it's okay to say no and sometimes even if it sounds like the most amazing opportunity and it is a resource for making a lot of money i just think if it doesn't align with your goals, it's not worth it. Mostly we'll just waste your time and steer you in the wrong direction. And then it takes a lot to sort of get back into a routine and path of where you actually want to go. So I have decided to start saying no to more things, which is scary. I will say it is scary. I've said no to more things than I ever have before. And it does sort of hurt my heart a little bit, but there is always going to be something that comes along that is probably going to be better and that aligns with your overall goal better. So those are my goals for the next four months until I turn 24. Let's do a wash. We really are getting there with our reset, but I wanted to tackle my wardrobe. I usually like to color coordinate, garment coordinate as well, so I think I'll do that. I find tasks like this so therapeutic, so I tend to make them last for like four to five hours, and I really don't want to do that today. I want to enjoy the beautiful weather, so I'm going to put a 15 minute timer on, and that will be my restriction for organizing and tidying the wardrobe.
So I had a row of four pictures hung up here and two of the middle ones decided to fall down the other day and I need to go and pick up some more command strips to put them back up. So I'm going to go head to the shop, get command strips and then pop the frames back on the wall so that it looks nice and neat. It's a sauna in here. It's now a few hours later. I've basically spent the last few hours just working and editing, but it's time to get unready. 